Now lift up your two hands all over the world where you are gathered at this International Youth Convention. I declare every one of you blessed of the Lord. The impact of this convention will remain ever strong on your life. The encounters from the first day to this last moment will be reflective in your life. Nothing will get you off your spiritual frequency again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Going back to your various places is declared safe. No evil report is permitted. You arrive home into a brand new world. It will show in your studies. It will show in the works of your hand. It will show in your businesses. It will show in your enterprises. And in the name of Jesus, you will become a living example to your sibling. You will become an enviable example to your peers. Your spiritual life will never go down again. When you are on board a flight, whatever is served on that flight is your right. Therefore, every good thing that God serves us in this commission, I decree their manifestation in your life. And so shall it be. In the name of Jesus. Every unwanted habit in your life, you see them no more again forever. Every unwanted habit in your life, you see them no more again forever. He said, let no man despise your youth, but be thou an example of believers. If you are not an example, they will despise you. But when you are an example, they will honor you. Therefore, grace to be an example of believers all the days of your life, receive it now. <laughs> now, by that anointing, your understanding has opened up. <laughs> your academic challenges are turned to testimonies today. Your academic challenges are turned into testimony today. Every one of you set for marriage. As the Lord liveth, your year has finally come. And 2018 is declared your year. It is your new dawn year. Amen. It's your marital settlement year. Amen. It's your career settlement year. Amen. It's your business settlement year. Amen. It's your health settlement year. Amen. Every unsettled area of anyone under the sound of my voice across the nations of the world is declared finally settled today. And so shall it be. What we do with testimonies is to provoke the faith of others and the love of others for God. Now, in this 33 taking year, my team and I have seen 26,197 souls saved <laughs> on the streets, on the streets, 18,670 of them are in church. <laughs> they came along with 5,788 souls, <laughs> making 24,000 
458 souls in church. That was beginning from the month of February when Operation Take Your Church for Christ was launched. Now, in the name of Jesus, before October the date, your minimum 12 standing souls in church shall be fully established. Before operation must abide this over, your own converts must be properly established in church. And wait a minute. They that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. Daniel 12, 3. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. Not great speakers, not great preachers, but they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. 1977, I vowed that I will not go to bed until I've spoken to someone about Christ. Each day, each day. Jesus, you must lead me to someone today. Each day. And they that turn men to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. No, they that be skillful. No. They that turn men to righteousness. Now, grace to be listed among this end time army. Turning men to righteousness, receive it now. Yeah. One of our converts was a drug addict for 22 years. Gave his life to Jesus. And three Sundays or so ago, came with 571 souls to our office to help follow up that he has led to Christ. 571 souls, one soul leading 571 others to Christ. I tell you something, we are in a very strange day. May you be part of this strange happening. Yeah. One of our converts brought 95 people on her own into buses that she paid for. She paid for the buses. I call her Samaritan woman. She paid for the buses. Someone else brought about 70 souls. Paid for. God is changing people's stories. My daughter and Kechi was paid, was he budgeted for paying for people to come to church, praying, kingdom of heaven, prayer, leading people to Christ. She is a resource person for Harvard University. Today, Harvard University. Color, beauty, beauty. Somebody was soaking Gary to bed. To eat. Now she's MD of a multinational company today. All within one year. All within one year. You will not miss out of this call. It's not just about number, it's about the rescue of souls from destruction. Somebody's just about committing suicide and you step in. About taking his life and just step in. We have seen many of them. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, carry this in your heart. It's a commandment of the Lord to every disciple. Go, go, go. Bring forth fruit. Ensure that your fruits are by. And whatever you shall ask the Father in my name, he will give it to you. You come under the favor of heaven when you obey that commandment. Because a soul is the most valuable thing to God on the earth. The most valuable issue to God is a soul being saved. In Jesus' name, you shall not miss out of it. Yeah. And what about now? Your beauty is restored. Yeah. Now, your color is restored. Yeah. Now, your going becomes great. Yeah. You shall emerge a world changer in this world. Yeah. Your nations will celebrate the day you were born. In the name of Jesus, you will bring honor and glory to your family. And I pray that whatever you have desired coming here returns with you as a testimony. Lift up those two hands and celebrate Jesus.
We are waiting for your testimonies, and they are coming in in droves. In Jesus' name. God bless you all.